and it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. All right, let's set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. On the floor for Miami, the big men are Bosch and Whiteside. Rogic is out there with Richardson, and it's Winslow in at the three spot. Well, what a season it was for Miritich last year. Came on stronger for the Chicago Bulls. Uh, continued to improve, effective in the playoffs. Really a joy to watch in his first year. And interesting, so much hype going into the season was about Dougie McDermott. Yes. And whether or not he was going to be in the running for Rookie of the Year. It ended up being Miritich. Most years, he could have walked away with that award. Now here's Dragic, shot clock at five. Bosch, no one around him. That three off the mark. Wade drives in. Outside Butler. Drills the three-pointer. Butler's got the opening basket of the game for Chicago. For Miritich, he was most valuable late in games, guys. From March on, he led the league in fourth quarter points per game. Richardson kicks to Dragic. He dishes it to Winslow. Here's the three, and that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Winslow's got himself on the board with three there. For Chicago, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And for that note about Miritich, in the fourth, he outscored LeBron and Westbrook that month. That's impressive for any player, much less a rookie. Good ball move. He put that pass in the ideal spot right where it needed to be. And so here is Miami, the Bulls getting the bucket. Now here's Winslow, defended by Butler. And there's the foul, it goes on Jimmy Butler. That's his first foul. You know what, tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time, Greg. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Richardson, good. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. Rondo kicks to Lopez. Wade on the wing. Back to Lopez, just five on the clock. And stolen by Richardson. Rogic against Wade. A look from Bosch. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Well, the defenders have to make sure they tag him. Rondo with it. Now guarded by Dragic. Miracic gets the bucket. Well, I think it's been said about a thousand times now how Coach Spolstra started as a video coordinator with the Heat. But he's been with the organization for so long, they are starting to become synonymous. And here's Winslow. Following the three from Nikola Mirotic. Bosch, the screen. Richardson for three. The shot no good. Excellent D from Wade. To the inside. Butler. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. That was a smart pass by Wade that time. 149 left here in the first quarter. Rogic kicks to Bosch. Bosch hits the pick for Richardson. Outside Dragic. Wide side a screen on run. Here's Bosch, and that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. And I tell you what, anytime you get those easy ones, that basket starts to get bigger. And one of Goran Dragic's greatest traits, Greg, excelling in the open court. High energy point guard. A lot like you, speed to burn, very smart guy, uh, coveted by many. He really is, and Kevin, he transitions from defense to offense as quickly as anyone in the league, a la Tony Parker, mm. except he's also equally adept at facilitating for others and spotting up for the three, or just taking it to the rack himself. Here's what Chicago's going with right now. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Doug McDermott comes in for Jimmy Butler. D, he's checked in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Isaiah Cannon in for Rajon Rondo. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. 
And, you know, back to Goran Dragic, many of his transition opportunities start with his aggressive defense, very active with his hands, has the instincts to jump passing lanes, the long arms, to pick off passes. Suddenly, when he gets a steal, he's off and running. Bosch can't hit. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. The dish to Cannon. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Portis can't get it to go. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. And talking about Goran Dragic, the one thing he has to be careful with is being over aggressive on D. Reaching for steals makes you susceptible to blow bys and escape dribbles, and that can lead to uncontested layups and dunks for your opponent. Over to the wing. Valentine passes to Cannon. It's good, and he threw contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. At the line for the ball. One shot. Here's Dragic. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. One second left, and it is good at the buzzer. Wow! And he beats the buzzer to end the quarter. Terrific shot there. I mean, he was calm. He was poised. Um, didn't rush it at all. You got to get. You got to tip your hat to him. That was well done. Getting to the basket more, you know, being able to finish with the defender in front of me, I think getting to the line a lot more as well. You know, I think, you know, getting to the line and, and, and finishing at the basket. Greg, can he do more? Uh, definitely. Uh, he's already taken a big leap forward, and there's plenty more room for him to grow. He could become a real beast in this league. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls? They've won the effort battle, and, and that's allowed them to control the backboard. And it's been gang rebounded. I mean, everybody has done a great job boxing out for them, and it's showing up on the stat sheet. Ajan Rondo is out there with Dwayne Wayne. Then there's Robin Lopez. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Gibson in at the power forward position. That's the Bulls five as we get into the second quarter. Boy, he's just dangling from the rim after sending it through there. You can see which team now has the swagger, Clark, right now. Yeah, it's exactly. It's with them. And, guys, that swagger can backfire because you don't want to get your opponent a little too riled up. Here's Johnson after Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. And it will go, and the Bulls' lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Richardson. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Steps back and fired. Swing. And Chicago with another bucket. What handles? He broke the D down to the ground with that move. And Dwayne Wade, as we know, one of the best in the business at blocking shots from that off-guard position. Hard to think of a guard who has had as many swats as Dwayne Wade in the past couple decades. One of the best ever. The Bulls leading by three. Kicks to Gibson. Puts up the baby hook. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. He'd have gone a nice three of three to start the second. Johnson kicks to Richardson. Whiteside a screen. Whiteside sets the pick for Johnson. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. The Bulls have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Butler with the ball, and it's Johnson picking him up. There's a good screen. Dwayne Wade on the wing. Stolen by Winslow. The feed to Richardson. Can't hit. And it's Chicago the other way. And Butler, here we go. I'm really impressed with the way Jimmy Butler last season made big strides in this game, going from a supporting role player to someone you can build your team around. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. And so far, these guys have done a fantastic job finding the opening man and getting some easy baskets. You know, it also hasn't taken them long to make their mark in the paint. I mean, they're doing a lot of their scoring from in there. 
Miracic has checked in for Chicago. The Heat trail by five. Richardson dishes to Whiteside. Feeds it to Johnson. Babbitt kicks to Richardson. In the corner, Winslow with it. Five on the clock. Here's Babbitt. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. And Jimmy Butler had the career highs across the board last season. Won the most improved player of the year award. Really picking up his production in his fourth season. You know, we had seen the flashes of potential in, in Butler before. Last season, he sustained great play and, and really took everything to the next level. Now here's Rondo. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Pass to Valentine. Soft touch off the glass. And the Bulls lead by five. Here it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. Yeah, just getting the ball into the post has to be option number one for them right now. Bosch, the screen. Rogic against Rondo. And it's Drogic off the drive. Here's Johnson. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's going to go on Nikola Mirotic. You can see the leadership qualities on display right there, guys. You know, he's their coach on the floor. There's no doubt about that. A great communicator, a great teammate, and as you mentioned, Kevin, a tremendous leader. Chicago making some changes. Gibson comes in for Mirotic, and it's Isaiah Cannon in for Rajon Rondo. He also with the sub. Williams is checked in. And injuries, once again, were a central theme of the Bulls' season last year. Uh, losing roles was one thing, but then having Jimmy Butler lose a lot of time put them in such a tough spot. Chicago leading. Cannon kicks to Gibson. And taken away by Johnson. Now the pass to Bosch. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Now here's McDermott. D right on him. Portis, the pass to Gibson. Rebound by the Heat. 36 seconds left in the first half. Down low, Williams. That evens the score. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. Yeah, he imposed his will on the defense that time. He was not going to be denied right there. The Heat shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. And you guys, he, he was once considered a tweener, but now I think Derrick Williams has kind of settled in to that four position. Seems to be the best position fit for him at this stage of his career. Miami's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Outside Dragic. Williams sets a screen for Dragic. Just five to shoot, and it's Bosch in the corner. Can't nail the jump. Major defensive lapse right there. And he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay.